In this video, we are taking the humble Indian Batuta and the bougie American Bananas Foster, and we are combining them to create Batutas Foster. It's an Indian Batuta stuffed with Bananas Foster filling to create a delicious fusion dessert. Let's make it. Welcome to Shmindian, I'm your host Paul Singh, and this is Indian Food Demystified. Today we are talking about the humble patura, and we are taking this dish, which is usually meant for savory food, and we are turning it into a dessert. Don't be afraid, everything's gonna be okay. Now if you're Indian, this is gonna be a shock to the system. It's fine, just relax and breathe, it's gonna be okay, I'm gonna take care of you. For white people, you have no idea what I'm talking about, you will also be okay, I'm gonna take care of you. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on patutas, uh, I'll put a link for it either there or there or somewhere. But you're gonna need to know how to make a patuta to make this dish. But if you're too lazy to watch that video, I've condensed the instructions into this 30 second montage. Pour a quarter cup of warm water into a measuring cup. Add two teaspoons of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar and mix it up. Wait 10 to 15 minutes for the yeast to proof. Get a big old bowl, add two cups of AP flour, two tablespoons of semolina flour, a pinch of salt, a drizzle of olive oil. Add the yeast mixture and knead for five minutes. Make a dough ball, coat it with olive oil, cover it and let it proof for an hour to two hours. Roll out 60 gram dough balls, use your hands to make little circles, and then use a rolling pin to make them into big circles. Heat up some canola oil and deep fry these beauties until they puff up. So this is going to be a dessert batuta, which I'm pretty sure there is none. I'm pretty sure I'm inventing the very first dessert batuta. So basically we're gonna create the batuta's foster filling and then stuff it into the batuta. These are our ingredients for batuta's foster. Let's get started. Frying pan, medium to low heat. Now in a normal banana's foster, they use butter, but this is an Indian batuta's foster. So we're using ghee, which is clarified butter. It has a very nutty flavor. It's really nice, but uh, yeah. Three tablespoons of brown sugar, which is also my name when I dance on weekends. Brown sugar. I'm gonna make that joke every time there's brown sugar in a recipe, just so you know. So we're gonna melt the ghee, melt the brown sugar. One tablespoon Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon comes from Sri Lanka and it's known for being the best cinnamon in the world. There's like poems written about it and stuff. Cinnamon peeler, Michael Andachi, talks about Ceylon cinnamon. Next ingredient requires a mortar and pestle, which is half the reason I added it, because I love smashing things in a mortar and pestle. Anyway, two green cardamom pods, and you go. Give them a little light smashing, you know what I mean? You just want to open them up and get those seeds out. There we go. Get in there, get in there. There's still some in there. All right, green cardamom pods. Three quarters of a cup of orange juice. All this stuff is very rich. The sugar, the butter and whatnot. So we need some acid to kind of cut through that a little bit and create some balance. That's where the orange juice comes in. Vanilla bean pod, very essential. We're gonna cut this thing down the middle and we're gonna use the back of our knife to scrape out all of the delicious vanilla beans. I'm gonna throw the pods in there too. We're not gonna eat them, but they're gonna be in there. All right, stir this around. The smell from this is incredible. Two bananas. So we're gonna cut these in half lengthwise and then widthwise. Make sure to point them away from you. It's gonna splash. So we're basically creating a jacuzzi of deliciousness for the bananas. They're gonna stew in there and soak up all this flavor and it's gonna be really delicious and soft. One anteater snout of lemon liqueur. One and a half anteater snout, lemon liqueur. Of course, we gotta put some rum in there. This is JD Shore. It's a local brand here in the Maritimes on the east coast of Canada. So, you know, always support local, that's what I say. To the queen, God save her. Also Tupac, there you go. Oh, we gotta light this on fire. Totally forgot. Okay, this is a great one if you have someone over that you're making dinner for and you wanna impress them. Light this thing on fire. They're gonna think you're a, a really good cook. I mean, I would. This is actually on fire, you can't see it. 
wooden spoon. And I'm gonna flip our bananas. Oh, they're looking very soft. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, the sauce is reduced to a nice thickness and uh, a normal banana's foster you put on top of ice cream. So it's, you take it right out of the pan, really hot into some really cold ice cream. And that creates that whole hot, hot cold kind of contrast, which is so delicious. But these are going into a batuta right after the batuta comes out of the fryer, the oil. So since the batuta is already hot and we're gonna add some other things in there as well. These don't have to be right out of the pan hot. They can be kind of warm. So we're gonna just let these sit for a little while, let them cool down to a warm level, and then uh, we're gonna make our batutas foster. All right, we've made the stuffing, we've made the batuta, now we just gotta put them together, man. Truth be told, this is the first time I'm actually making this. Like I made it in my head a couple times, but this is the first time I'm actually making it. So we'll see how it goes. We're just gonna cut this guy open. I would start with a knife and then just use your hands to rip it. I've tried to do this with a knife to make it seem very skillful and neat and it just, it's a disaster. You have to use your hands to open this thing. So, but look at that though. You can put anything in here. You can put leftover sabji in here. You can put uh, salad in here. I've not seen very many people take advantage of the batura as a vessel for other delicious things. So if you're watching this, by all means, try putting stuff in a batuta. I mean, there's, there's tons of stuff you could probably put in here that I haven't even thought about. I've thought about bananas foster. That's what I've thought about. So here we go. We're not gonna put whipped cream in it. We're gonna put no name brand whipped topping. Now I know what you're thinking, Paul. You put all those fancy ingredients into the bananas foster over here. Why are you using no name brand whipped topping here instead of actual whipped cream? Like, what are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm Indian, okay? We spend a lot of money on bougie things to impress people. We're also cheap though. And we use things like this when we think we can get away with it. Shout out to my Indians. So one squirt of whipped cream. In most bananas foster, they use ice cream, but it would just be a mess in here. So I'm using whipped cream. I'm not using whipped cream. I'm using no name brand whipped topping. Don't sue me, whoever owns the trademark for whipped cream. So I'm gonna put three of these banana quarters in. One, two, three. I'm gonna put a little bit of the syrup in. Not too much, because it will leak out. One more squirt of whipped cream, ba-boom. So we're gonna hit this with some powdered sugar. The classic way to sprinkle powdered sugar is to uh, put it in a sifter like this, and then just Give it taps. See how it's like beautiful snowfall? Yeah, screw that, we're not doing that. That's way too civilized for me. So what I like to do is just take some powdered sugar, grab it, and then just bombard it like this. Just multiple, just bombardments like that. Whatever excess powdered sugar is on your fingers, just rub that into your gums. But that is your modern dessert batuta made by me. This is the type of thing that like a uh, cool Indian restaurant in Brooklyn, Austin, Texas, or Portland, like they would make something like this. Those are restaurants that I'm not cool enough to actually get into. If you actually do put this on your menu, you hipster Indian restaurants, you better mention my name because I invented it, right? That's all I ask. And maybe pay me a little bit. I'm out here making YouTube videos. Without further ado, let's try our hand pie. I like to tuck mine in a little bit, like that. Boom, boom. Give it a little tuck in, like so. As soon as it hit my lips, I knew it was a winner. This is delicious. I got powdered sugar on me. The crispiness and softness of the batuta with the bananas foster and, the, and the, the whipped topping filling, the textures and the flavors are unbelievable. Somebody better steal this and put it in the restaurant. I'm giving you permission, go ahead and do it. I can't be the only one that makes this. I can't be. All right, now let's see what my dad thinks. Should we stop? Do you know what that is? This is banana. Huh? Banana. Foster. What? 
Foster? 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 Yeah? Yeah. Foster. Foster. Yeah. Bananas Foster. Bananas ins Foster. Inside of a... It's, it's a dessert patura. Oh. Patura dessert. Mm-hmm. Mm. Give it a try. Oh, so it's stuffed with ice cream and banana? Uh, it's... Uh, not ice cream. It's... Okay. A, it, yeah. Mm. Oh, you, you should put the, the the this side on top because it's going to fall off the powdered sugar. No, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Mm. Good. Good. Mm. Very tasty. Okay. Mm. And uh, good stuffing. Mm -hmm. Good uh, uh, crispy patura outside mm -hmm. and the uh, banana preparation plus the ice cream is good, very it's, tasty. It's actually whipped cream. Oh, oh it's not whipped cream, it's, uh, no, it's, it's, no name, okay. it's, it's no name brand whipped topping. Yeah, actually. ice cream. No, no, whipped topping. Whipped oh, whipped topping. topping. Yeah, whipped oh. topping. Yeah. Have you ever had a dessert patura before? No. Have you ever heard of a dessert patura before? No, this is the first time. Okay. Would you like me to make more dessert paturas for you in the future? Yeah. Okay. It's great. And I think, uh, I don't know how many people like it or know about it. Nobody. I invented it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Good for you. Okay. I think you should uh, publish it soon. Okay. So that uh, before anybody else makes it. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Schmindian, and we just demystified Batudos. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then click over here or over there. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Have a good day. And it fits in your hand. There's no mess. Small mess. <laughs>